I'm Jim Kearney. I'm the minister at Christ Church in Mississauga. And I had the privilege in the summer of 2012 for three months to serve as overseas personnel of the United Church of Canada with the World Council of Churches Ecumenical Accompaniment Program in Palestine and Israel. I was part of a team that was stationed in a tiny village in the middle of the West Bank. And we had responsibility to provide a protective presence to that village as they were dealing on a regular basis with settler violence. They're surrounded by Israeli settlements on three sides and it's now part of life there for the last 10 or 15 years. We also had a relationship with about 30 other villages in the area to respond to uh, incidents of um, army activity, settler violence, other uh, human rights abuses. So one day in July, we were called to an olive grove, not that far from where we were stationed, because there was a report that something had happened overnight. And we showed up and there were uh, two fields belonging to two different families side by side where about a hundred olive trees, the branches had been just hacked off and all that was left was the, the trunks left of these olive trees. It was a ghastly sight. It felt like I was kind of walking amongst a cemetery and and very tragic event for the family because uh, olives are the lifeblood of Palestinians. The two families would have lost about 100 liters of oil that they would have harvested uh, in October. The family did show up. There was a report of settlers having been seen leaving the area in the morning. Uh, obviously, it's not clear who did it. It's unthinkable to the community that Palestinians would perpetrate such events against one another. And it did correspond to a pattern of activity that had been seen in the area. So we had time with the family. We took some pictures. We uh, did a report that went to the United Nations and to other agencies involved in monitoring the uh, occupation of Palestine. One comes away from it uh, sort of chilled by, by what one has seen. And for me, as, as a person of faith, you know, thinking about you know, Christ amongst an olive grove and that part of our faith story involves the Mount of Olives and that uh, here was the Christ among us who would weep at this action weep at the damage to a part of creation and, and something that cuts at the heart of, of people simply trying to survive and carry on in the West Bank. 